Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, is not a fan of LiDAR, the laser sensor that many automakers employ to traverse the globe. LiDAR is, is a fool's errand, and, any, and anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. LiDAR is an abbreviation for light detection and ranging. The sensor sends out pulsed light pulses into the surrounding environment, which bounces off on nearby objects and returns to the sensor. Then the sensor calculates the distance traveled by using the time it takes for each pulse to return. Repeating this a million times per second contributes to the creation of a 3D map of the surroundings. If the LiDAR detects that the car is approaching an obstacle, it will apply the brakes to slow it down. Except for Tesla, almost everyone considers LiDAR to be crucial. Alphabet's Waymo, widely regarded as a self-driving pioneer, employs LiDAR. Cruise, GM's self-driving division, purchased its own LiDAR maker a few years ago. The sensor is also reported to be on the hunt for Apple's anticipated smart automobile. One of the reasons Musk dislikes LiDAR is its high cost, it's like having a slew of extraneous appendages. You will see, LiDAR was formerly prohibitively costly, costing tens of thousands of dollars. Its equipment can currently cost thousands of dollars or less than thousand. In the future, producers want to cut costs to the low hundreds. Its supporters say that technology can perform tasks that cameras cannot, it can also precisely measure distances, whereas cameras interpret depth. NASA has put its faith in it to accomplish everything from monitor glacier changes to collect data over the Amazon jungle. Musk, on the other hand, claims that LiDAR cannot adequately capture the eccentricities of the actual environment. Tesla's approach to autonomous driving relies on cameras the same way that humans rely on vision to operate a vehicle. To employ only computer vision, it would need to comprehend images in the same manner that our eyes and brains do. Musk believes it is possible. In light of this, it begs the question, why was Tesla seen using LiDAR? These images of a Model Y with LiDAR were just shared by Twitter by an expert in autonomous vehicles. The car was located in Florida, although neither Luminar Technologies nor Tesla have verified it. A report from Automotive News claims that Tesla has a deal with the company. In our opinion, they won't likely ever employ LiDAR on their production cars. Sam Abulsamid, a Guidehouse Insights analyst, agreed with us that Tesla is just employing LiDAR for training. It is particularly good at confirming that the software is accurately estimating distances, for example, if your machine vision system tells you that a car is 50 meters distant from you in the lane to your right. According to him, Tesla's fleet of 1 million current vehicles would face difficulties if the company were to alter its mind and use it. Customers received assurances from Musk that their Teslas already had all the gear required for fully autonomous operation. Radar is being eliminated by Tesla in the same way that it believes it does not require LiDAR. For its driving assistance technology, Autopilot, Tesla's website previously made reference to Radar. But lately the mentions of Radar have been omitted, though. Radar is no longer included in Model 3 and Model Y vehicles shipped to the North American market. The shift will eventually be made by vehicles destined for additional markets as well as Model S and Model X models. According to Tesla, Autopilot will temporarily be restricted to slower speeds and a wider minimum following distance, as well as losing several other features in new vehicles lacking radar. Radar removal is hardly a surprise. Long term, the car will run completely on vision, Musk wrote in a tweet from 2018. The business is investing heavily on Tesla Vision, in which autopilot and full self-driving, its most sophisticated driver aid system, will only depend on camera vision and neural network processing. Tesla Autopilot uses neural networks to examine the surroundings of the car and detects this. Tesla wants to advance its system from level 2 autonomy all the way to level 5 where a driver would switch to being a passenger. They have claimed that it is achievable without radar or LiDAR, but some analysts doubt that is the wisest course of action. A business called Algalex specializes in employing cameras for autonomous driving, but an official there warned us that depending only on cameras may not be the greatest choice. It may be short-sighted to not use other sensor modalities, especially recent advancements in radar. 
as well as LiDAR if the market can absorb it, adds Dave Tokic. So, what do you think which self-driving technology will rule the world? LiDAR, or Tesla's self-driving technology, tell us in the comments below. I hope you've liked the video, if you liked it, do like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.